effect. But I do agree that the rewards have to be super compelling in order to make people feel like they want to do it. Yeah. Well, and, uh, and I think it also leads to a kind of this problem that Blizzard has overall with their loot. Um, World of Warcraft is a loot based game. Uh, there's a lot of focus on gear, obviously. Um, but we, we have mounts, we have pets, we have this entire toy box feature, we have a transmog system, we have all this stuff that they can put in the game, they're just even usable items. Um, and when you look at all this stuff, somehow they have all these methods of getting items to us. And yet somehow they still have a very hard time putting anything compelling in the game. And I'm not sure what they're actually afraid of. They put in items like the burning wings that come from the Dark Moon Fair. And at first that was really cool. And it was the people were going for it and trying to do all uh, everything that they could to get those. Mm -hmm. And then it was almost like they realized, oh my gosh, do, do you guys realize what we've done? People can have burning wings whenever they want. The cooldown is the same as the duration. Someone could have this on all the time. We need to nerf that and make it to where that's not the case. And all of a sudden, the items stop being interesting. And all of a sudden, you don't see anybody really running around with it because it's no longer compelling. And World of Warcraft suffers from not having interesting loot. And they do it to themselves on many occasions, and I think they need to fix it. And I think that if they could create a bunch of compelling loot that people would want to have on, would want to use, would want to play with, that didn't have stupid amounts of charges or terribly long cooldown timers for two minutes of seeing the effect mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I think all of a sudden world treasures become infinitely more interesting if it can dynamically and dramatically affect your character in some way, as opposed to something that you right click to punt a marmot once and then say, well, I'll never do that again. John, I will totally back you up because I have two examples that totally fit. Um, you know me. I'm a pet guy. I like to collect them, battle them, and whatnot. Uh, I worked my butt off to get enough charms to get this mirror that makes you look like your pet. It's really cool. So first thing I did, I looked like my pet. I'm like, this is cool. Then I clicked my pet to make it go away, and it came out of the mirror. Like, the the, the buff wore off. Then I had to wait an hour. So I'm like, okay, I can't do that. So, and they fixed that, by the way. You can, you know, dismiss your pet and summon a new one. So I'm like, okay, cool. Well, I'm going to blink. And, you know, I'll be like this little awesome molten corgi who can blink. I blinked and immediately I was back to myself again. And yeah. it, it's one of those things where it's like, this is supposed to be a fun little thing. Who cares if you're raiding and you look like a little molten corgi? Which, with the next patch, they're fixing all this. So thank God. Um, second example. I think you were still raiding when I got this because I used it all the time because it had a three second cooldown. And that is the seafarer's whistle. That's right, folks. There's a slide whistle in game. Click it <laughs> once, it goes. <laughs> Click it again. <laughs> and while we're sitting there waiting for a pull or whatever, I would just constantly spam that thing, just having fun with it because it's stupid. It, it's stupid. Tiny little cooldown. It, it's stupid. I want burning wings, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's not like, I mean, they have another game that's giving you a bunch of wings. It's not like there aren't a million different types of wings people can have. And if they're afraid, oh, well, that means everyone's going to run around with wings. So what? Um, Why not? Why not let them? I would love uh, it if my healer had mercy wings. That'd be perfect. Like, yeah. how... But, how is it that they are so worried that it is going to destroy their game that people are running around with these cosmetic items in a world where it's completely acceptable for people to just run around naked or holding a fish or, or any have the other last name number Jenkins. of stupid crap that you can do in World of Warcraft? Um, I mean, I'm not saying make it absolute chaos. Everybody should be able to turn into a full-size Ragnaros whenever they want. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, there need to be restrictions, but right now it feels like that restriction is turned up to 11. With or without and legs, though. That's the important thing. With legs. No one no, will do it, then, no. if he has legs. No one wants to be that Ragnaros. No. So, I, I, I don't know. To me, that's the biggest problem, is World of Warcraft is a loot game with uninteresting loot. 
But you know, it's always been that way. You know, I mean, it, it just, it ha- always has been that way. The, the idea of getting epic loot is that it has to, it, it doesn't feel epic if you just, if it drops from the sky like rain. You know, I mean, it's, 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 there has to be some work and some, something that compels you to, to do the hard thing to get that one thing. And that's, I don't know if, randomly walking around and finding hammers under, you know, wood carts is, is, is what that consists of. But I think that the game is, has to make it, the game has to motivate you to try and go after that gear. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't, if it makes that process too easy, people will not be motivated and they won't. You know, and those, those wings, they were really hard to get. Just how strong. (laughs) <laughs> well, they were, but I'm, I'm also like when it comes to gear, I mean, the reason I, I would like to see the toy box become better implemented and I'd like to see those items become better is because, uh, I understand that they can't put raid level gear just out sitting in the sure. world for you to right click. That's not good. I mean, I understand why the item levels always sucked on that gear and it was never an upgrade for anybody because nobody wanted going out in the world and right clicking under a bridge to be how they got their best in slot legs. But the alternative of what they put in place of it instead of gear isn't any more interesting. And it could be without an imbalance or breaking the game, mm-hmm. so to speak. Um, sure. And I think that's what they need to figure out. Yeah. I mean, I, I do think that there is that something amazing where once upon a time you looted a thing and all, there was this really awesome one in a million chance you're going to get that item. Like that stuff's always been in the game and it's actually right. still in the game. And that stuff's always really kind of interesting. But I, I think that also too, we can't overlook that some of that gear that you found was really good looking gear and was worth it from the transmog perspective as well in terms of just having something cool to transmog to. So I think, I think there was some value there in the aesthetics, but um, for the most part, you know, if, if we're still talking about warlords and whether or not, you know, we enjoyed it, I guess the question I go to you guys was, did you feel that your community enjoyed the expansion? Um, you know, in my community, I mean the, the tight knit group that is your raid teams and, and whatnot. I mean, do you feel like, Oh, hey, you know, we all had a really good time and we had a blast. And, or was it, was it a, a little less than it was before? Because at the end of the day, I really feel, and I, and I feel that this was a contributing factor to me because I didn't feel like I had a really solid community for this expansion. Mm-hmm. It really hurt my overall experience with this game. Yeah. Um, and I, and I think that that's the lesson I learned from this is that without a great set of friends, World of Warcraft is, is, is fairly, can feel very mediocre, mediocre and lonely sometimes. Mm-hmm. So I guess, did you guys feel that your community enjoyed this expansion? Because that's also important. Well, as someone whose community just really started leaving, mainly John, um, no. <laughs> it'll be interesting to hear what both our answers yeah. are, but continue. Well, no, <laughs> <laughs> And here's the thing. As someone who actually stuck around for the, you know, the duration of the expansion and stuff, um, just play time and friends and, and seeing members of the guild and things like that, it did feel like there was a big drop off. Definitely. Mm-hmm. 